All right, guys. What we're going to be talking about today is VRV uh, self-diagnostic modes with the Daikin. We've got here a VRV4. This is a heat pump. You see, it's a RXYQ, 168,000 BTUs. So, first step is we've got our power on. We need to pull this uh, top panel here, and behind that is going to be our service panel. All right. So once you get the service panel removed, the front cover panel, see this is the service panel behind it. This little cover here gets you back to the display board. You can see it's got a three digit LED display. Um, and you've got three button modes there, BS1, 2, and 3. So uh, from this point, all you have to do is reach in and hold down BS2 for five seconds. And it's gonna register a T01, or T01. So T01, that's not actually flashing, that's just a video. Uh, but the T01 is part of the service procedure. That's how you know you've initiated a cooling test. And so that cooling test, I'll put this up on PDF on your screen, is a, uh, it's a pressure equalization on pawn start thing the test uh, once it goes to t02 it's a cooling startup um, and so it's just going to check uh, basic startup on the cool and it's going to check that the cooling mode condition is stable it is actually um, running like it's supposed to uh, then it's going to do a communication check between all components it's going to do a stop valve check on the actual shutoff valves. It's going to check the pipes. It's going to do a refrigerant check, a, uh, a, def a detailed refrigerant situation check, which is literally checking to see how the charge is, if it's over or under, exactly what it's doing. It's going to go through a pump down uh, to verify that all the EEVs, all the valves, everything's doing what it's supposed to do, and that the compressor is pumping properly and then it's gonna go into a unit stop and actually go in to do a shutdown procedure. So, if you need to do a, uh, if you need to stop this test for any reason, just hit the BS3, you're gonna get a U306, hit it again, hit clear it out, that's gonna put it back into normal mode once you hit that BS uh, twice, BS3. So again, BS2, hold it down for five seconds. That's from a idle state. Um, that's gonna trigger a T01. It's gonna go down through T010. Now, if at any point there's a problem identified in that check, it's going to show a, uh, an error code of some sort, depending on whatever problem it found during that process. So. Just keep that in mind. Um, if you are doing that as a maintenance item and you get an error code and you need to get this unit started back up, um, if it was running prior to that, go ahead, just do a power cycle and uh, bring the system back online. Its initialization check it does upon startup is not as detailed as the actual uh, diagnostics check that you we just put it through. And so it should go back into startup and at least keep it running until you're able to get whatever the problem is resolved. One last thing is you need to submit the uh, diagnostic procedure from the master unit. So in this particular case, we've got these two uh, condensers that are linked together. One's a master, one's a slave. You can have up to three slaves on this system, so that means you can have a total of four condensers tied together, but one of them is actually controlling the whole thing. So, to do that, the easiest way to know which is which, come in here and hit BS1. You're going to see the 1.00 pop up. Okay, from BS1, you're going to then hit BS3, and it's going to trigger a number. If it is zero, that's the master. One is slave one, 
two is slave two, three is slave three. And then from there, you just hit BS1 again. It'll go back to whatever it was doing. You can do that check without having to do, affect the system operation whatsoever. It does nothing to it. So, always make sure you double check which is the master, which is not. There is another way of determining it is if you're unsure of, with the uh, digital panel up here, right here behind this panel is where the control wiring comes in. The slaves will only have the multi-connection come in and wired in. So out of the multiple terminals that are here, only two wires will be actually wired in. The master will have the wires for the indoor and the other outdoors all wired to it. So you'll have a, a lot more wires being terminated. So that's just another way of determining which one is master, which one is slave, uh, without using the display.